Well, my name's Richard Fitzgerald. I'm from Canterbury in the South Island of New Zealand and I'm the Acting Chief Executive Officer for a new industry organisation called the Primary Industry Capability Alliance. Well, I think this initiative is, um, is really good. It looks like it's very needy and so bringing together some smart brains to try and solve solutions which are pretty deep-seated I think it's really important at an industry level and uh, I, I applaud him for his efforts. Kidworth Station is a tremendously challenging case study. I, uh, I've sort of drawn on as much New Zealand understanding as I can which isn't much of uh, outback farming and it looks particularly challenging. I think um, if, there's a, if there's a commitment to success then there's some really hard hard decisions that need to be made, perhaps some downscaling, a uh, different approach to management and so on, but it's, it's a very, very tough scenario. I think what I've observed, uh, I guess from the sideline as a New Zealander looking across the Tasman of Australia, there, there seems to be a lot of organisations who are probably very, very busy, but, but a spectem spectacular number of organisations that perhaps if they seem to work better, and uh, try and coordinate some of their activities and get a common voice and opinion, I think that would actually help Australian agriculture collectively uh, really to quite a uh, large degree. Well James and I travelled together on a Nuffield scholarship and so we had uh, a good solid 10 weeks together, travelled essentially travelled the world, 15 countries, saw a lot of interesting things, a lot of interesting agriculture and met a lot of interesting people but got to know each other very, very well. <laughs> uh, my favourite breed of cattle would have to be something like Charolais. We, uh, they're just gorgeous, beautiful animals and lovely beef producers as well. So I guess what we call in New Zealand exotic beef bre uh, breeds of beef. Yeah. Well, I did discover quite late in the piece that you sleep inside the swag, not on top of it. So uh, thankfully it didn't frost here last night, so I didn't suffer for that bad decision. But uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed my time out in the out in the outback under the stars. Okay, thanks very much, Richard. It's quite nice. People can create real opportunities for each other, and I implore you to join AgriHive as a platform to be able to explore those opportunities and to build resilience in our rural regions.